Hi guys! Today we're going to show you the latest version of our YID booking and appointment for WooCommerce plugin. We're going to show you all the options available in the plugin dashboard so you can get the best out of it and you can adjust the options to your site's needs. Before we get into it, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. The first thing we have to do is activate the plugin. So let's go over to plugins. I have already installed the plugin here. So I'm just going to look for it and activate it. Once the plugin is installed and activated, you'll find the panel in Eid, Booking and Appointment. The first tab, Dashboard, is where you'll find the All Booking sub-tab that displays any upcoming bookings all bookings and all the different statuses that the bookings have. For example, I have one paid booking, a completed, one pending and one confirmed. So this is where you can see all of the bookings placed on the site. And the other sub that we will find here is calendar, where you'll see all of the bookings organized in the monthly or daily layout. You can choose between three different time steps here. An hour, which is the default time step right now, 30 minutes or 15 minutes. Let's change it back to monthly. And you'll also notice that the colors the bookings have are the colors of the different booking statuses. For example, the green one is a paid booking, the orange one is a confirmed booking and other colors. You will also be able to filter by product and date here. There will also be another option to filter by resource if you enable the resource module that I'm going to show you later on. And you will also be able to do a quick search. The second tab is settings. This is where you'll find most of the plugins global settings to define its behavior. The first sub tab is general settings where you'll find our own suggested theme, Proteo, that you can use for free. This is a highly suggested theme as it is completely compatible with our plugin and it has great options for the bookable product page layout, for example. You will also find options to decide if you want to automatically reject a pending confirmation booking after a specific time. If we choose to enable this option, we're going to be able to set how many days have to go by in order to reject the pending confirmation. We can just set this to seven days. And then you'll also find the option to set paid bookings to complete it. If you enable this option, you'll also be able to set how many days have to go by in order for the plugin to set paid bookings to complete it automatically. Save. The second sub tab is booking forms. This is where you'll configure the booking form your customers will use to book products or services like this one. This is an example of a booking form on a product page that customers will use to place their bookings. Back to the dashboard so here you'll find options like who to show the booking form to all users or only logged in users where to place it on the product page we recommend using widget slash blog so you can just add the booking form to the product page sidebar but you'll also find options like after title before description after description and others set the date range picker layout so it can be a start and end date in a single line or in separate lines. The calendar style, how many months to load in the form, disable days if no time is available and more. And let's go see the third sub tab calendars. This is where you can set the time step in the daily calendar that we saw before. Right now it's set to one hour, but you can choose 30 minutes or 15 minutes. And this is the default time step. If you want to, even though you have, let's say an hour set on the calendar itself, you can change the time step. Then the default start time in the daily calendar, that is midnight right now. And what to show as a booking name, both in the monthly 
and daily calendars. Then we have the card and auto sub tab. You can add a booking of text before the product name on the card and checkout pages. Let me show you where it is. Here it is on the card, booking off, and then there is the name of the bookable product. And if I press it to check out, I have the same label. Back to the dashboard. So you can choose to show or hide that label. And in case you decide to show it, you can change it right here. It doesn't need to be booking off. You can change that. And then you'll also find the option to show the totals in cart and checkout. Then in the customization sub tab, you'll find lots of options to customize the plugin for your needs. You can decide what to include in the price shown. You're actually going to get more items here if you enable some modules. I'm going to show that to you later on. You can decide if you want to show the price type, replace days for weeks for every seven days unit, when that many days are selected for a booking, redirect users to checkout so they don't have to go through the cart first, as it is really not necessary for a bookable product or service, choose the date and time picker formats, the colors of the front end elements, and the font size so you can absolutely customize the plugins colors here to match your theme in case you're not using our proteo theme and the labels see how many labels you can edit here you can change the add to car button the bookable label the check-in check-out dates duration and date so many things you can change here you can change the add to cart button. For example, it says book now. Let's just change it to show you. Book it now. Save options. Back to the side. And there we go. The new book it now button. Back to the dashboard. Now. The third tab is the configuration tab where you can create availability and price rules by default. These are the two options that you're going to find here the moment you activate the plugin. But if you do activate the modules, you're going to see more options here. Again, I'm going to show you the modules in just a couple of minutes. Now here on the availability rules sub tab, you're going to be able to create all kinds of rules. These are useful for any scenario where you need to set specific or generic dates or hours as bookable or not bookable. For example, if you do not want to allow bookings during Christmas, you can just add a rule here, name the rule. This name is just for us. Choose specific or generic dates. We're going to choose generic dates because we want to make this rule for every year. So we want to repeat this rule every year, not just this year. I'm going to set this from December 24th to December 25th and I'm going to set all days as non-bookable all day. And you can also choose specific hours instead of setting this availability rule for all day long. And we're going to add rule and then save rules. And let me go back to the side. Let me refresh. And now if we click here and go to December, you can see that the 24th and the 25th are disabled because I just created that Christmas break rule. Back to the dashboard. Here you're going to set all the global rules. So these are going to be applied to all of the bookable products by default, but you can override these rules and create more advanced rules at a product level. And then in the price rules sub tab, you're also going to be able to create rules according to your needs. Let's say you want to offer a discount during October and November because that's usually the low season for you and you want people to book. So you can create a rule, name the rule. I'm going to name this low season. Again, this is just for us. Conditions. Here you can set the conditions for this rule to be applied. So the idea is to set this price rule for all of October and all of November. So we're going to set this for range of months, but keep in mind you have a lot of options here. And this is going to be from October to November. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this rule change the base price of the product. 
and we're going to choose here to decrease the price as a percentage okay so we're going to decrease the bookable products price by 20 percent in case you added a fixed base fee to your products you can also modify it here add rule save rule back to the side i'm going to refresh and let's go see this we have 40 dollars a day but if i go to october 1st till saturday 2nd it is going to be 32 dollars a day because i applied a 20 percent discount back to the dashboard then we will find the tools tab where we will find the tools to debug if the option is enabled you will find debug logs in the logs subtab right here the option is disabled for me right now so i don't have anything here back here to tools you can also store booking data in cash to speed up the site sync the bookable products prices and regenerate the booking lookup tables then we have the add-ons tab that contains advanced features that can be added to the plugin in the module sub tab you'll find modules that offer advanced features that are included in the plugin okay you don't have to do anything but enable the option here like this in order to get these features these are disabled by default but you can enable them with just one click as i have just shown you these modules allow you to create people types like adults and children and set specific price for each type Create free or paid services like breakfast or parking. Create resources like equipment or software. Create mandatory extra costs and set discounts for weekly or monthly bookings. And add search forms so your customers can search for specific bookable products with a very useful search form. By enabling any of these five modules that I have just mentioned, people, services, resources, extra costs and discounts, and search forms, you're going to see a new sub tab for each one of these under configuration. See, I have just enabled the people module and I have the people sub tab right here. That way you'll be able to configure each module properly. The Google Maps module allows you to add the bookable products locations show them on a Google map on the product page and it also allows users to filter products per location using the search forms module right here. By enabling this Google Maps module, new options will be added to settings, general settings. Google Calendar then allows you to sync your bookings with Google Calendar so you can also see the bookings placed here in your Google Calendar. An external synchronization allows you to sync external calendars from platforms like Airbnb and Booking to prevent overbooking, for example. Enabling these two will add new options to settings calendars. Plus, by enabling the people, services, resources, extra costs and discounts, Google Maps and external synchronization modules, you will also get new options to configure at a product level. In the integration sub tab, you'll find all the integrations we developed to give you even more advanced features. Each integration requires booking an appointment and the plugin indicated here in order to work so these are not included in the plugin. You can unlock them by getting these other plugins. For example, here we have the integration with deposits and down payments. You can click here to be redirected to our website and get our deposits and down payments plugin to allow customers to book products by paying a deposit first and then just pay the remaining balance a specific number of days before the booking start date or on the day the booking begins. You can also get our multi-vendor plugin right here by clicking here to run a multi-vendor marketplace and allow vendors to create and sell their own bookable products or services and more. You can see all of the integrations here. And finally, we have the help tab. Here you'll find one of our video tutorials, links to the plugin documentation, to our booking and appointment playlist on YouTube, to the frequent ask questions section on our help center, 
and if you scroll down you'll find the option to submit a ticket in case you need our developer's assistance. That's all for this video. Make sure to check out the rest of our videos that will show you how to use all of the modules mentioned and more. Okay guys, so those are the options available in our plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.